Hello. They've done what? No. Well, this is a game changer. That's fantastic. I need to go and tell everybody. Okay, cheers. Wow. Hello, YouTube world. That was my special informer telling me that Virtual DJ have just released CDJ export mode. So you can use one of these into one of them without going through record box or anything like that. So, well, oh, I've got one of these and I've got one of those and I've got Virtual DJ. Let's add it all together. Let's see how it works or if it works. Watch this space. Don't forget, this is my live streaming setup weekly live from the loft hit the subscribe buttons you'll get live stream notifications and you'll get notifications when i upload videos like this back to the usb excited i am okay so this was my first attempt at using the cdj export function in virtual dj i formatted a usb stick i created a folder i then dragged a track into the folder and it appeared but i saw that it wasn't burning to the stick and then when I click off the folder and click back on again, it's not there. I contacted Virtual DJ and this is what they said. Virtual DJ got back to me really quick with a few options that I could try. Um, they weren't the problem until I got to this one, which was in the privacy and security settings. So I followed their instructions, went to my private and security settings. I'm doing this on a Mac. I'm sure there is a way to do it on PC but you would need to look that up. And I found that VDJ wasn't ticked. So I signed in and I ticked it. And then when I went back to Virtual DJ, I had the USB showing up as it was before. But then when I went to drop a track into it, and there we go, we just grabbed that one. You can see that it's copying it to the USB. Then it's there. And if I click off, of the folder and back on it again it's still there and that's it well done virtual dj you've just solved my issue and hopefully anyone else's issue i went to the usb stick let's create a folder in the usb stick and there it is okay i've just expanded the window so we can see it a bit better in vdj now i don't think you can drag whole playlists directly into the uh, USB stick, I think you can only do it by tracks. Doesn't seem to want to let me do that, does it? For now, until they sort that one out, I'm going to select tracks individually for say a night I'm doing, just some randoms here. I would then go in, I would create a new playlist on the USB stick, call it tonight. And then I would just drag in all the tracks individually, or not individually, I would select all the tracks from the side list and drag them in and there you go you can see it's copying to the usb stick um, and that's it right the next thing is to go over to the cdj plug them in and see what we get another thing you can do with the cdj export is you can export the stems from virtual dj which is a great feature in virtual dj if you use it i've created another folder just called it stems for now and i've gone into auto generate stems and i've selected acapella and beats I can unselect, um, it's not there, or I, you know, whatever you want. Um, when you first launch this uh, new version, you get a pop-up every time you load a track in. If you want to, uh, if you want to include some of the stems, um, I've managed to disable that, and I haven't worked out how to get it back yet. Also, in here, if you click on the folder and go to options, you'll get what shows up. On the cdj the year the bpm the genre all that kind of stuff so you can have as much or as little as you want so what i'm going to do is i've got a track here i'm going to drag that into stems and as you can see it is copying it yes so there we go so we got the whole track we've got the acapella version and we've got the beat version i would just mess about with it that's what i'm doing Okay, great. Well, after a bit of a full start, it all seemed to work okay in the end, didn't it? So I've got the USB, I'm gonna stick it in there. It also works with Denon players and like the XDJs and stuff like that. Um, why would you wanna use it? Well, 
if you use Virtual DJ and you get the opportunity to play on CDJs in a club or something like that, you may not have the opportunity to plug your laptop in. Perfect way of doing it. Or if you're like me, drop the USB stick now. Ah, got it. If you're like me and you use CDJs in HOD mode with your Virtual DJ set up on a laptop, it'd be great to have your whole set on a USB stick in one of the players, just in case it all goes, I was gonna say it's up then, but I won't. Just in case your computer crashes, then you can switch over to USB mode and you can continue playing. It's a backup. So that's why I would use it. That's two great reasons off the bat. So let's have a look at the screen. I'm gonna have to hold the camera, but we'll see what it looks like when I plug it in. So we plug it in the right way around. There we go. Okay, let's see, can you see that screen? Yes. Okay, press USB, and there we go. If I scroll down to my playlists, you'll see the two playlists. Then I can go in here if I select something. There we go, that's loading quickly. Um, I won't play the music because it'd be nice to have a video that doesn't get a copyright strike on it because all my live streams obviously do but that's it now somehow i have noticed the waveform on some of them doesn't seem to go all the way across now the track does play continues playing even Though the waveform is not there. I don't know what that issue is. It doesn't happen on every track. There you go. I've got a full one there. I've got a full one there. I've got a full one there. And that one, slight, that happens. So that's something I will look into. Um, if anyone knows what that is, leave something in the comments. But uh, when I find out what that is, I will update this video. Okay, well, thanks, Virtual DJ. And I must say, that their customer service was fantastic on this. I emailed them over a weekend and I was getting a reply within a few hours. Um, and they got to the bottom of it, two or three emails of asking me questions about my files and what I was using and where I stored them. And they got to the bottom of it. It was the uh, security preferences on my computer. So check that out if you're having that problem. So don't forget, hit the subscribe buttons I live stream every week. I try and put up videos of interest around the DJ stuff that I use. Um, and it's all for new and beginner DJs because that's what I am really. I've only been doing it a few years and I've certainly not been making YouTube videos for very long, as you can probably tell. Anyway, until the next time, watch out!